Ethan the kid, what do you think, son? Yeah. Right on. Okay, so far today, here on this great fine Sunday, cold, oil change, we got a new breather, we got PVC valve and hose and hooked up, we got oil change, uh, fuel filter, um, we got oil pressure gauge, um, water temperature, adapter, water temperature adapter and sending unit for the temperature gauge. It does not have a thermostat in it, so I doubt if the gauge will even register. Um, we got the tack hooked up. This dashboard, this is what was in the car when we got the car, was this cluster. This and that. Tasha's checking for oil leaks, so she hasn't tightened that one down yet. So as soon as she makes sure there's no oil leaks, she needs to run it a little bit more, I guess. But she got the tack. Can I, this is ready to start, right, Ethan? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Tack, does it work? Oh, yeah, you guys. Tack's working. Oh, this thing, you guys, is nice. Oil pressure going up. About 40 pounds. That ticking is the exhaust. That's just the way it's cut. It's cut out of slam. Makes it. The tack works good. Sagan off four speed. With Chevy 350, brand new radiator. Poses, let me see. Uh, distributor. What else? Um, oil pan gasket, oil pump. Uh, um, wiring, the front end was put together. New clutch fan. New gauges. Uh, new driveline, custom driveline, universal joints. New rear shocks, we gotta get front ones. Um, air shocks in the back, and I got an extra set too as well. Um, brakes, wheel cylinders, master cylinder, brake lines. Um, one new drum, the other ones were already done up, they just got lost. A lot of things got lost in the move. When I got the car, I just wanted to get out of there. And I probably overlooked it and left one of the brake drums there. We played hell getting it out, but we got it out, of course. Right on. What do you think, Ethan? Yeah, we got exhaust for it. We got 60 inch exhaust side pipes for it, but we're not going to put the side pipes on. I'm just going to use the mufflers for underneath the car. Then I'll have them dumpy behind the rear tire. But yeah, Natasha's been doing a lot of wiring on this and everything's working great. It's really coming together really well. We got the... Let me see. <laughs> Looks like the blinker light is hooked to the tack light. Okay, well, we gotta correct that. That's okay. Right on. I think everything will come together once I get the back end hooked up with all the lights and stuff. I think that it'll come alive. And I did check the the pigtail going to the back, and I do got power to the power wire on on the back end side. So it's looking good there. I've gotten lucky. This is just a nice '65 Chevelle, guys. I mean, it is freaking. And it has the bench seat shifter in it. It sits forward. It, it's meant to have a bench seat in here. And so we're looking for a bench seat for this. I think it'd be really cool to have a really nice bench seat for everybody to ride. Heck yeah. And this thing picks up, guys. It gets up and boogies. With everything coming together and all the ground's getting hooked up and all that stuff, it's going to start becoming more and more alive all the time. What do you think, Ethan the Kid? Huh? She has a really nice 
nice. It is too. The suspension, the way it handles, the it just a full frame car. There's just nothing like it. It's really cool. We love it. This one is a nice freaking run, definitely. We got the back seat for it. Um, we got the back panel. I think we got all the the um, sun visors. We don't have headliners. We got all the we got all the hangers. The car used to be blue. I like that color of blue. Yeah. What it is? It is. It is freaking pretty nice, Ethan Joe. Ethan the kid, guys. Up and coming. Here be launching soon. We just want to make it really safe. The Falcon is proven out to be just a great driver. I can go 100 miles an hour and let go of the steering wheel, and she just drives straight. It just, that's the highest I've had it, 100 miles an hour. And it is smooth action. Tail lights, the doors go. We got to do these back pieces right here. I don't know. Somebody did fiberglass, it looks like. <laughs> I'll cut that out, make a pattern. And I'll cut that out uh, probably with a grinder so I can cut it straight without putting too much, too much um, pressure on everything else around it. And I'll go ahead and weld those two pieces back together, seam it back together, seam seal it. And, um, with all new steel. I still got the pattern. Right on, guys. Keep on clicking. Stick with South Dakota Pride with the 605. Have a great Sunday. Thanks. Bye.